Okay, uh, we're going to do a little test on the cobweb. This is a receive only uh, test. 20 meters uh, is, is pretty dead right now, but uh, I can hear a few little uh, carriers on there. We're going to use that to compare with. Um, so this is a receive only cobweb, and we're going to compare it to an 80 meter off, 80 through 6 meter off center fed antenna. And we're also going to uh, compare it to a, uh, a 20 meter delta loop. And we're going to compare it to a uh, 20 meter inverted V. So let me get a little signal on here. See if I can find a carrier. By using a carrier, it's a pretty steady signal. Uh, if we were listening to sideband, it's going to be fluctuating a whole lot. You can see the S meter, S meter right here. So that's on the cobweb. That's the cobweb antenna. And there's the 80 meters through 6 meter off center fed. There's the uh, delta loop. That's a 40, 20 meter delta loop. And there is an inverted V. Inverted V up about uh, 60 feet on 20. So there's the inverted V. Watch the signal right there. Inverted V. Delta loop. Off center fed antenna. And there's a cobweb. Man, that cobweb is about, what, two S units higher there. So there's the cobweb. Cobweb is about a S4. Uh, a full uh, inverted V up about 60 or 70 feet is about an S2 and a half. Inverted V, cobweb, off center fed dipole, delta loop, and uh, the inverted V. Watch right here. Back to the uh, cobweb. It's definitely on that signal. It's definitely pulling in more signal.